it goes. my personal creation, the Rhythmat, comprised of two things, one Nintendo Wii Remote and a cheap ass Asian dance map. The whole idea of this is you take the concept of music influencing dance and flip it completely on its head. As you've just seen, very easy to use. My friend Niall here, he just walked on it, never seen it before, mastered it within seconds. So let's talk you through the basic things of it first of all. First, the remote. With these three buttons here, you can set off three different loops. From the up arrow, a techno loop. From the left arrow, a rock loop. And from the, finally from the right arrow, some good old mass and drum and bass loop. So if we go back to the techno loop first of all, I'll take you through each of the pad commands on the map. At the front here we have the three most common in use drum pieces. On the left here, my left, we have a kick drum. On the right we have a snare. And in the middle we have a hi-hat. On my left and right we have the rap toms. On the back, just behind my foot here, we have another tom, floor tom. And on the left and right here we got the cymbals. As you go through, change through each loop section, so if we go on the rock loop, you get different sounds. So and now we're just banging drum and bass style. see why I picked now to do that. Now, if we go back to the remote again, on these three here, by themselves they will do tempo changes. So if we start the techno loop off again, on this minus button, it down. And speed up on the plus button. Now, if I do this while holding the B button down, we have delay effects, which I will turn on for the number two button. So now when we hear the sounds, you can hear quite a delay in the background, which if I hold this B button down and press the plus button up, vintage reverb. Now, if I hold it down with the minus button, much smaller sound. Dancing in the garage, as you can see, very simple to use. So if I now start the loop again, I can also use this down arrow to completely switch it off. Easy, ain't it? Okay, now time for some nerdy business. This is the inner workings of the Rhythmat. We follow the signal flow from top to bottom. At the top we have the input commands for the keyboard, Wii Remote and Dance Mat. These then flow down to the gates which distribute the input commands across the sample banks which load up the different sounds when prompted. On the left we have the loops following the same prompts and then we go into the effects phase for just the loops and delay for the samples. These then all go down into the faders. Let's take a look inside some of them. This is the Wii input section, where it reads it from Oscillator and unpacks the various Wii remote commands. As you can see, I've distributed the Wii commands across the reds of the patcher by using several send boxes. Key input, this shows the inputs for the keyboard and dance mat. As you can see, dance mat inputs has its own separate sub patcher. If we go inside that, you will see I have two different sets of inputs, one for when using the mat with a Mac and another one for when using it with a PC. So you can use it on any platform. Go inside sample banks. This is the techno sample bank. Loads up the techno samples from the project folder by default. 
the other two sample effects look exactly the same, but merely loading up different samples. Inside the loop follows the same principle, except this time it just loads up the loop, and it also has the options for changing tempo when prompted. This is the delay one with different settings for feedback, EQ and speed, also with the option to completely bypass delay, as is set by default. And finally into volume commands, which is setting the default volumes when the application is loaded. That is the basics of the Rhythmat, thank you for watching.